we uh, got a call about some kittens that were here that were in need of rescue. And when we got here, we found out that the dead cat is deaf. And one of the kittens might be deaf as well. He's not coming out when we're making noises with the can. So they have had some human contact. They're definitely timid, uh, but they're going to be adoptable. I was able to pick up one of them, just easily transfer it to the crate. So we know he's here. We saw the other deaf guy, so we know he's here. Uh, we just have to be patient because they can't hear the cans and stuff. Oh, he's already in. Four of them off the street and the deaf one. The priority because he, he wouldn't have made it that long. He was crossing the streets and stuff, and when you're deaf, you're going to get hit by a car. Yeah. You see it all the time. Here's a little update on our 6th Street litter. We got them home and we got them cleaned up. We have one little girl and two little boys. And although they've been living outside, they're very pleasant and are going to make great companions. We then proceeded with the intake process. This consists of deworming and parasite control. We use Revolution, which takes care of fleas, mange mites, and other topical ailments. As a last step, they were obviously vaccinated. Meet the trio. So this is our big uh, feral deaf boy here. Uh, he is getting a lot of space and a lot of time to kind of decompress. Uh, he's eating really good. Um, he's not super happy about the litter box, so he's making pretty big mess of things around here. But uh, he is a lot better today than he has been other days as far as interaction. He might give me a hiss here or there and a little growls, but. Uh, overall, I think we're making some progress, and we just gotta be patient. Being deaf, uh, obviously, it's a lot harder for us to interact with him and gain his trust. So it's gonna be a long process, but it's gonna be worth it. Hey, buddy. It's okay, bud. Okay.